Welcome back, guys. My name is Patrick, aka Chief Pat, and today bringing you guys the next episode of my Clash Mailbag series. Again, you guys know the drill. Send me your questions on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or the YouTube comment section. I'll pick a couple of the best ones, and let's go ahead and get into the first question today. So this is from MRY64 on YouTube, who asked, what about a base simulator? You would be able to attack your own base to see the strengths and weaknesses to it. You also could attack with any troops at any level, which you could train instantly that you'd like. You wouldn't lose or gain any resources from raiding or training troops. It'd just be to see how your, def your base defends against certain attacks. So when you look at a bunch of other games, they call this a sandbox mode where you're able to do whatever you want. Let's say you could have 300 archers, 300 giants, and all of that cool stuff. And while that stuff is really fun and it works in a lot of other games, there's one big reason it can't work in Clash of Clans. So with Clash, when you have a clan war, let me just tell you a scenario why this would be impossible. So let's say you get in a clan war with another clan. And after the preparation phase is over and you have 24 hours of battle phase, you could look at the player's base you want to attack. You could create his base in the base simulator mode, and you could practice against this base hours and hours and hours in order to find out the best way to attack it, and then you would have a crazy advantage when it comes to attacking this base. It wouldn't be just a one-time thing. You would just be able to practice as many times as possible, and honestly, I've heard that there's a mod that lets people do this, and uh, this is why some people are able to pull out these th crazy three stars against max, all max Town Hall 10s in Clan War. So the fact that people can manipulate it and be able to change their base to the base they're going to attack in a Clan War, practice against it, and then like find out you know, how to get rid of all the traps, how to avoid the giant bombs, how to do this and that and this and that. That is one of the reasons why we, I don't think we'll ever see this inside of Clash of Clans. As cool as it would be to drop 300 giants and 300 witches and make your iPad explode from the amount of pressure that it's getting from the, uh, I guess, the processor. I don't even know how it works. But anyways, it would be super cool. But the fact that people could abuse it is uh, the reason that I don't think we will ever see it inside of the game, unfortunately. But cool feature. A lot of other games have it, but I just don't think it works out for Clash. All right, next question from Caleb. He asked, do you think four earthquakes are better than two jump spells? A lot of people seem to be using quadruple earthquake uh, raids. So this is an interesting question, and I haven't done enough testing of the earthquakes to give a 100% like factual opinion, but I'm going to just tell you guys what I think um, off the bat. So with two jump spells you obviously get to open up two different spaces inside of the base. However, the radius of the jump spell is different than the earthquake spell, um, and it's not, I don't think it's like always as accurate, and it doesn't always get your troops to go where you want them to go to. But again, keep in mind with four earthquakes, you can only break through one layer of wall unless the radius of the earthquake spell is big enough um, to where you can get like the... Uh, yeah, to get into all this stuff. Pretty much, the jump spell has a lot more versatility to it. You can use it in two different spots, completely across different sides of the base. Whereas the Earthquake spell, even though it does do additional damage to buildings, um, it's really set in stone that you're only going to be able to attack the part of the base that you've used your Earthquake spell on. So it, it's a little bit... I don't know. It's a little bit black and wet for me. Uh, I just don't know right now. I think I need to do more testing with earth earthquake spells or maybe some people who are experts with earthquake spells can chime in. Um, but I think, again, one of the disadvantages is that you can't use it in different spots around the base because you do have to use all four, four earthquake spells in the same spot in order to break through the walls. So until I'm out until I'm outside of Titan League and I have the ability to lose a raid without raging and raging and breaking my iPad, I'm not going to be able to test them just yet. Uh, but we'll have to see in the future. So definitely, if you guys use earth earthquake spells, let me know with a comment inside of the comment section below. So from Super Nicolo Two on YouTube, he said, "Do you think it would be cool to?" to have in the game a sort of reputation system. I mean, if you get reported by too many players of cheating, hopping clans, not raiding in war, not donating, you would get something in your profile page that warns other players of you, and by donating a lot or other things, you can build your reputation back up. So I think Xbox Live does this. I'm not exactly sure. Like if you played Halo back in the day on the 360, you could report people for reputation, but there's an issue with this. And if you, if you think about global chat right now, like when I enter global chat or any sort of YouTuber enters global chat, any sort of high level player enter, enters global chat, people just like to report and do funny stuff to you and mess with your like mess with you just because I guess you're a higher profile player. So people who are in like top clans or who are doing 
this and that, or they're known in the community, whether it's YouTube on the forums or stuff like that, and you're just getting reported, you're getting reported by all these different players for bogus reasons, and Supercell isn't going to be able to moderate this because they don't have the people to moderate what's going on in the game and the the report the reputation system. Because as you guys know, the report system is automatic. When you get, I think, like eight reports, it bans you for 24 hours for global. So yeah, imagine if you were just unfairly being harassed by your clanmates. Let's say you failed like a clan war attack and people. Uh, like accuse you of cheating or clan hopping or not raiding in war or stuff like that. I feel like it would be pretty detrimental in that sense. I feel like it would be super, 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 super abusable. And uh, Supercell usually never even tests things like that that can be abused, whether it's sending a message to another clan after a clan war where you can just like talk smack and stuff like that. Um, something like this I feel like would be abused too much to where it couldn't be useful. Even though it would be super nice to see people who are hopping clans and who are eye modding, uh, it could just be a lot of he said, he said, she said, and I don't think it would be super accurate, uh, which means it's probably something we would never see inside of the game. Okay, so the final question is from SpongeBob98 with a uh, Pinhead Patrick Twitter <laughs> uh, profile picture. He said, how is a normal day for you and how does Clash interfere with your, your everyday life? So I guess a normal day for me. So keep in mind, I'm 22 years old, if you guys didn't know that. I mentioned that a couple of times. Um, for me, I do Clash full time. Uh, I did two years at school and then after Supercell pretty much has been inviting me to all these trips, I've taken a break from school uh, to do YouTube and do all these amazing events that I host with them. So uh, usually a normal day for me right now, uh, seeing as I'm, in, I'm actually in Sweden, is a little bit different. But let's say July. July I was home and uh, I had a chance to, I guess, live a normal day uh, back in uh, Virginia slash Washington, D.C. So a normal day for me would be maybe wake up around maybe 10 a.m., 10.30 a.m. I would wake up. I would work on videos. When I was doing the two-week Titan series, I'd play for about six hours each day at least, sometimes 10 hours. So I'd, I'd pretty much work on Clash all day. Um, whether it's doing stuff like that you guys don't see behind the scenes or planning out new video ideas or trying to get uh, maybe celebrities for class challenge videos. All that stuff takes like lots of hours in the day and especially with the two week Titan League. Um, usually I, I did quote unquote work because of course I can play Clash while watching TV and stuff like that uh, for maybe at least eight hours a day. Because I mean, when you're on YouTube, you always want to spend time improving it. It's not like a normal job, I guess. So um, yeah, Clash... As far as how Clash interferes with my everyday life, it's part of my everyday life because it's it's what my YouTube channel is based around. But normal day for me, usually wake up around 10, 30, 11, uh, work, play Clash, do all that stuff, and then go out with my friends and have a good time like I did at the beach. Like I had an amazing time at the beach, all that type of good stuff. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty much just a normal guy except I post Clash of Clans videos on YouTube. So not nothing too much different um, except for that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for a normal day for me. Right now, over the next couple of months, uh, I've been we're working on some really cool stuff with Supercell, like a, a couple of the YouTubers are, and there's going to be these events uh, that they're going to be holding, whether it's ClashCon or Nordic Clash, the live stream, and there's a couple of other really amazing things they have planned that I can't talk about. So a normal day for me then is a sort of just traveling with Supercell, trying to plan these things out uh, while also trying to do videos in hotel rooms and stuff like that. But it's really cool. I've had the chance to travel doing YouTube and uh, it's definitely one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life, even though I thought I would only be just posting single player maps and uh, never doing YouTube again. So that, hopefully I answered your question there and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this mailbag video. Only four questions. You guys can feel free to drop some more in the YouTube comment section below and I'll make a post on Facebook where you guys can like your favorite questions as well as use the hashtag ask pat on twitter and uh yeah that's gonna do it for this video hope you guys enjoyed and i will see you guys later peace out